Hello everyone, how you doing? It's me, Joe, and welcome back to my City Skyline series. In the last part, I said at the end that I was going to do some, some stuff off camera, just to try and make things a little easier, and I did a little bit. Um, I did the, well you would have seen in the last part, I added a bit extra over here. I just put out some car parks and like this, um, but I'm thinking about deleting this eventually anyway. When we start, once we get offices, like this industrial area will probably end up disappearing, probably. Um, you might just have to repurpose it for offices, like start deleting all these and put offices in there and stuff. Who knows, we'll see. But we might keep it, because we're still going to have some uneducated um, people every now and again. They're not all going to be educated. Um, even though like every building in here has no uneducated people working in it, because they've all been able to go to school so far. But yeah, I did uh, I did that, just tied that up a little bit. I've also added the tram line. Um, you would have seen it only used to come up to here. But I've added another one, it goes all the way up here. Around here, down here, and over to this commercial. So you can see all the trams that use this road now. And these, but these uh, stops here get packed. Like if we look at our, um, so it still says 117 people. But when I first put this down, I got on the first tram that came out, and it picked up 90 people from the first stop, which is here. Um, so they do use it. Like how many people are in this? There's only nine in this one at the minute. So that one's on its way back. How many is in this one? Six. Okay. Well, it's died down there. Maybe because it's, it's, it's morning. I think not everyone's going to work yet, so it's not that packed. But um, yeah, I did that. I did that little park, the little warehouse bit at the back of this shop. Like I said, I was. So we've got the uh, this shop here, whatever it is. Um, and I just added this at the back. You see some pallets, car parking as always, some trucks, containers. You know, just crap basically. You skip. Um, I, there was another one here, but I deleted it. I can't remember why, but I deleted it. Oh yeah, because this road here was connected on, um, but I had to delete it because it was just getting so much traffic here. Because what people were doing was because I had I had a connection here as well, so which I deleted. People were coming down here, going here, and then coming through this town just to get into this this area over here, rather than driving this way. So we've put the traffic down this one, this is, kept the traffic on this main road, rather than having it all pile up into the commercial. See, so yeah, I had to delete the other shop that was over here, but that's fine. Okay, so I had some. Well, I had one more recommendation for a name. Uh, so, so far we've got Bridgeview, Shaman. Um, these ones haven't been named yet. So, I thought I'd name this Sunset Heights. Wait, oh, one, that one. So, yeah, so in Hyder should have been named in Madison. So, I thought I'd name this one. So, I'm coming up with the name Gilbert Town. Because uh, in my uh, Subnautica series, my theme off was called Gilbert. So, I think this is a good idea to have this one named after Gilbert. It's like a Gilbert Town. There we go. Someone had Jollyton, but I don't think that was a good name considering like the, the actual whole city is called Jollyville. I didn't think that would be a good name for like actual town. This is a little town. Um, but yeah, we still have some more names. Like I say every episode, but because <laughs> no one says anything, it's fine. Um, so yeah, so today I said what we was going to do. We're going to unlock this tile over here. I was going to bring up the road and join up to this one over here and start building in this big area here where we can start building the big skyscrapers. And this is where it gets difficult because we've got this place here, it looks quite nice. You know, we've got the, it's very green, I'm surrounded with trees. It just looks very nicely laid out. This bit is a bit messy, I might have to come back and fix this later. This is a commercial bit because I think it's a bit too compact, same with this one. Because um, with all these houses, like from a distance, you can see it's in each individual house, there's a gap between each one. But this is just a mess. Like if you look out, it's just a mess of just just houses all compacted together. So it might be best to um, look at maybe getting rid of a few, having gaps in between, like we have with the houses. But you see these houses now—they're getting so like, high tech. They're nearly oh, they're nearly full now. I'm sure, some of these down here nearly are. Yeah, look, which is great. Uh, well, we've got highly educated people now as well. So you got people going to elementary school and. Um, a high school, but I did notice though we do have a demand. You can see here now we only have a capacity of 200 for our elementary school, and there's 278 people that that can actually go to high school. So that's something. I think it's the same with the community centre as well. I know we've, you know, we've still got loads of room for the high school. Um, I done some more bus routes as well. Um, you can see all the, this green one here. I've done all that. It will go up to the industrial as well. Um, you can see the red line here for the tram line, which you can see goes all the way around now. So yeah, I think the transport's really helped out the traffic, because this was pretty messy um, when I was playing this last night. Let's tidy it up a bit now. I can't remember if I did this on camera, but I had another police station. I kicked loads of crime. 
Um, so I've done that now. But yeah, let's unlock this tile. Because it needs to be unlocked. 5,000. Easy money. Okay. So now we need to join it up to this. How am I going to do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's a bit curved. I think curved might be nicer. But yeah, let's try curving it. Okay, so let's make this a little bit shorter. We don't want it too far out. Do that. And then, kind of like so. Just a little bit. It's about here. Curve it so it's perfectly like at a right angle. So that actually is essentially 90 degrees. Looks like it. Okay, and then we want to have a straight line from here to about here. And I want to pause it because we're going to have to delete this road. And we're going to put in, try and put in one of those. Um, it's going to curve this. It's going to be a bit ugly. We're going to try and put one of these back in. I took away too much of the road there, I think. It's fine. That's gonna, that's gonna be so ugly. Oh, we could keep it at an, this at an angle still, just as long as it's centered slightly. There we go. That do. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so let's quickly reattach this. Then we still haven't unlocked this sound barrier one yet. So this one's gonna be a bit. I just don't like it when it looks like that. I don't know. It just looks out of. Out of just looks wrong. Oh. You see, it's not a curve anymore. It annoys me. It's fine. Okay, then we want to join up this road somehow. So I'll just do what we did before. Let's do this, and then have the runway off. Which way is it? I can't see the... Oh, yeah, it's this way. So we've got one there, and then this one here. And there we go. That's nice. Good. So we have another entrance now. <laughs> so not level, this place. Okay, so we're another entrance now into the town. So let's unpause it again. And hopefully, people start using this now. It should be. It should do. See, someone's coming down it already. Oh no, it's in a U turn. I th that's the one thing about having this junction here. People do U turns all the time. It's really irritating. Like, why are you on this motorway? You look, like this truck. Why is he doing a U turn? Like, why? It doesn't. Like impede traffic that much, but it's just I don't know why they do it. No, oh, well, I like this junction though, they do work. Like, this intersection does work perfectly fine. Maybe it won't with the bigger city, but I guess we'll see. I was also thinking about maybe having a roundabout somewhere in here. So, you haven't got any of those yet, but I don't know if you will because it won't look, in, won't look uh, I don't think it'll fit in very well with the town. But even this like road here, should this be a main road like this, like a motorway road? I don't know. It's just hard because I don't know where to I think we'll have to come from down here. Essentially, I'm starting again now. But I don't know how. I ne I, this is usually as far as I get. I build this and I usually unlock um, th this one here. The high density residential. I'll just turn these all high residential. But that's not, I don't think that's a good idea. Because then it just gets too packed. So we didn't build this for like a big city. So. I don't know what roads to use. I don't know if to use these roads coming off, like we did before. I don't particularly want to join it onto this road, because this road's going to be packed up a city. So if I do, it's going to have to be the same as this, like a big, like, I don't know, semicircle sort of thing. But have it up this way, and then go along, and then down again. Well, first off, we need a main road in the middle. So the main road, I think, will be this. That's the main road. Solid. We're doing it. Okay, so that's the main road in the middle where everything's going to come onto. Now we don't want to have too many junctions off of it, so we're going to go with this tool. I'm going to build it out like so. Right here. I'm going to curve it. Bring it over. Do that. Okay, so this is all going to be high residential in this place here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to do it anyway. Okay. Now, what gaps do we want in the middle of it? So we're going to want 
it's straight like this. So we have one going straight through the middle. No, we won't. We'll do it like here, about midway. And we'll come out to here. Come up. Right, let's see how this works then. So if we want to put big houses in here, um, it's not big residential yet, but it will be eventually. No, that's what we're just building it for. We're just building it now, ready for when it is. So we want these bigger ones. So do we want it like a four by four? Or do you think we should stick with three by four? I think it's gonna be four by four, isn't it? In which case, this road's got to be a little bit longer. It's got to be a full square like that. Actually, it's got to be bigger than that because I don't want them. I need the gap in between, don't I? I like the gap. Oh god damn it, these roads are irritating man. They just click on sometimes. I didn't, I didn't want it to go there. There. Okay. So yeah, so if I do a big one there, and one there like that. So we'll do the same method, have the gaps in the middle. If you don't want it too compact, we'll just do it like this. And I think Actually, let's delete that one. We can have like a park here. A car park or something. So yeah, this should hopefully still look nice. I mean, I'm gonna have to bring over some power and stuff. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. And then can I do this? Can I fit another one up here? I can. Perfect. Okay, so it's fitting up on him. It's not exactly level, which kind of sucks. But what I could do is I can keep it. Oh, if I. If I mirror this on the other side, I can have like a big park just down the middle. Just have like a pathway or something. I don't know, maybe like a bike or something. I don't know. We'll see. I just want to leave room to work with, you know? Because we like to add a lot of stuff to our town. So we might as well give it, give ourselves some room to work with in the future. Okay, so we just definitely power up here. Bring some over. that and then we need some water we'll just bring it over from here like so and there we go I had a dream about this game last night it's, it's mad I had a dream I was playing City Skylines like I don't know if you guys know but I mean I've mentioned it before it's not a secret or anything but um, when I was about 12 13 I suffer from epilepsy. It wasn't like bad epilepsy. It was just like um, it was a mild one. Apparently, it's really common. I used to have to go to the hospital about it, like to see the doctors. And um, apparently, it's really common for that, that age group. Apparently, a lot of people grow out of it, and I was lucky enough to grow out of it. Because if I didn't grow out of it, I wouldn't be able to drive. I wouldn't be able to work. Well, like I work anyway. <laughs> There's a lot of things I wouldn't have been able to do, especially driving. That's a big thing, driving. I love driving. I wouldn't be able to drive, do anything if I had suffered from epilepsy. But it wasn't like really bad. Like you see people like who have like seizures or fits, or whatever, like in the street and stuff. I was never like that. It only happened at night time for me. So it's relatively, I was relatively lucky in that sense. Um, that it didn't really affect me on a like daily basis. It was only at night time. And I only think I had a seizure like about, I think, probably about six, seven times. It really wasn't many. But I was on medication on it for, for it for about four years because they obviously wanted to make sure it wasn't something that's going to come back. So once I took it for medication, I was there. I was being like watched for about a year. I had to keep going back and just, you know check, check um, getting checkups, make sure nothing else was happening, and then I was off it and I'm fine now. But um, it's, it's not like flashing lights ever affects me or anything. It's not like that sort of epilepsy. I don't know what it was. It, it's just some very mild sort of it where I only had these seizures at night time. I just wake up at night and they'd be having the seizure. It was really weird. It felt weird. It was so such a weird experience. But um, yeah, the reason I say that is because uh, when I when they were trying to figure out what was wrong with me, I had to go to this like neurology centre thing, and they put these wires on my brain and they'll test my brain and stuff, and uh, like seeing like you know what was wrong with it basically. And they come to the conclusion that because I had to go and sleep in this clinic thing, I had to sleep there for the night while they monitored my brain while I slept. And apparently. I have like a very very active brain when I sleep but like, most people's brains when they're tired well when they sleep like sh slow down mine's active like 24 7 um, and this causes me to have very 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 vivid dreams um, 
which is not very good because like my dream, something I had a, like a nightmare last night. I said I had, I, I have multiple dreams every night. I remember every single dream I have. I feel like I should, I should start writing books about it. Just write a book of every dream I have because I remember it. It's mad. But yeah, last night I had a couple of dreams. I had one that um, like there was a ghost in my old house, like where I used to live. It's weird. I don't really want to explain it because it won't make any much sense to any of you lot. But um. Yeah, there's a ghost in my old house. I don't even believe in ghosts. I don't know why I had this dream. And I also had a dream I was playing this game because I've been playing it like a lot recently. I had a dream I was playing it. I just made this road exactly the same as what it was, haven't I? It needs to be shorter than that. Yeah, I just thought that'd be something you might want to know. Not like you probably care, but I did mention it like years ago, like in one of my old, really, old, really old videos. But obviously, that was a long time ago. So yeah, there's something new you know about me if you didn't know that. But we were talking a long time ago though. Well, I'm 23 now. That was back when I was like, like I said, 12, 13. I was really young then. But anyway, back to this. I think this is going to look okay. I don't know. I don't know if I should actually measure this bit by bit and see if it fits perfectly the same. Let's just see. Oh, it's one block short. Not long enough. Ah, sod it, who cares, it's fine. So yeah, this is, this is how this area is going to be. Uh, I don't think we put water in all of it, we didn't, did we? Oh yeah, just to let you guys know as well that um, I, I've uploaded a lot of these videos now. I think I've uploaded about no, four parts I've uploaded now as I'm recording this, which is, I think this is going to be about like part eight. But I've recorded four parts. Um, I, I understand they're not getting many views, they're getting like 200 views each, which is, I expect that, you know, I, I don't usually upload this, that's fine. But um, I know some people are watching this, which is fine, you know, that's what I make these videos for. People, anyone watches it, that's, that's good. Um, but you guys may know Dale, he's my, he's my mate, I've known him since I was about three. Um, so I talk to him every day. But as you guys might remember I used to play video games with him and it, it's a lot more fun playing with someone else because you can actually talk like right now all I'm doing is just talking to myself in my room essentially and that's all I'm doing so with someone else I can actually like, talk to them have a conversation and stuff it's not so awkward and weird because um, I end up just rambling like, I notice a lot of things I say don't make sense like, I think I was calling the snowfall DLC skyfall and I just didn't notice it's just because I'm just rambling I'm not even thinking what I'm saying I just I think Carl Pilkinson said it. I just open my mouth and hope something comes out. <laughs> That's literally all I do. But um, yeah, Dell, he's computer. If you, you check up, check my Steam, like if you really want to. But he hasn't been online for like over a week now. It says I think it says eight days as I'm recording this. But he actually hasn't been on it for even longer than that because he, he cause his computer's like died. And every time he tries to come on, his computer loads up and it just freezes and dies. So. He actually has, he's been on like eight days ago, but he didn't actually come on, if you get me. He just turned on his computer, he had Steam loaded up, but then it crashed. So he's actually not been on for a few weeks now. Um, he's in the process of getting a new computer. I don't even know if he's ordered it yet. Shall I message him now? Let me message him now, see if he mess uh, answers me in this recording. Okay, I message him. He's one of those twats though, he never replies straight away. He's so irritating. Like, he's, to be fair, he is at work. He finishes his work at five, but he won't message me until about half six. I guarantee he does it every day. It's just like, oh, I was busy doing what? Driving home from work and then eating dinner. You text me that time, you twat. But anyway, enough of that. I think this is going to be good. It looks a bit bare. It definitely needs some parks. So you might have to put some on the edge here. I think we're definitely going to have to do that. But yeah, <laughs> this looks very bare. And I don't like that road. It's just not centered. It's really bugging me. It's fine. It's fine. See, what scares me when I do this, well, I hate doing this, because when you build this area, you can keep it nice and clean, do bit by bit by bit, but then you have to come over here and build this whole thing, because I don't want it on this road. So if I build another road here, it's just going to get stupid at this intersection. I have to start putting actual um, intersections like this here. I don't want to do that. So I want to have everything coming off this road down here now, so people can go straight onto the motorway from this way. They probably still will go this way though, because they're stupid civilians in this. Like you can go, it's faster to just drive off here and go up here, 
go around this bit down straight on to the industrial but they won't what they'll do they'll come down here stop at every intersection stop there stop there stop there go that way because it's just the quickest route that that's the one thing that annoys with the ai okay so i'm actually adding these on now to the to the edges because it's really bugging me because it looks just so bare i don't like a bit oh that looks ugly in the house what fit is it damn it We'll just hopefully if it makes something there, but um, yeah, I don't like the gaps like this gap here I don't like the gaps between the, the main roads. They have to have something there So we are gonna have to put um trees and that down there or parks or something So it bugged me. I just remembered as well. I had this in Better call Sal <laughs> Isn't that set? I saw it. I thought it was really cool So I put it on the motorway here so you can see it as they come off the bridge I thought it was pretty cool but uh, yeah, I've actually been watching Better Call Saul. It's, it's a good, I've been watching it on Netflix. It's pretty good. The first season was really good. Well, I watched that when it came out. The second season is a bit slow at the start, but I'm, I'm on to the third episode now. Well, the, that's the latest one so far. The third episode, I watched that. Um, the fourth one's not out yet. I watched the third one, and that was uh, pretty good. But it, the first two were a bit slow. Oh, we leveled up, finally. We've unlocked more buildings, we've unlocked these cool roads, we can encourage biking, we can get free public transport, which actually does help, but it seems you lose a lot of money. Um, oh, we've got all this stuff now, look at all this. So all these assets here. We've got a bus station, the big fire station, big hospital, an oil power plant, these piers. I think these are leisure stuff, aren't they? Sweet, let's see what buildings we've unlocked then. Oh yeah, I've got a lighthouse. <laughs> Oh, it's like the capital building thing. This observatory, that'd be so cool. Is there a hill nearby? Oh man, if he was unlocked over there, we could have an observatory on the hill. That'd be so cool. I don't think we're going to reach that far, though, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, what have we got? There? What's this? Grand Library. It's something, most of these are assets, I think, that I've um, got. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the US Capitol building. I don't think it's going to fit in, in this part of town, to be honest. I better not laugh. People might think I'm like laughing at something like racist or something. Okay. That red lighthouse looks stupid on a river. If I put that lighthouse there, it would look dumb. I think so. If we had it over here, it might be okay. <laughs> this is a lighthouse on a river. What's the point in that? I need a road to connect to it. I wonder if it lights up at night time. <laughs> okay, that was a waste of money. There's Mal. You got loads. Oh, I can't happy that mate. They love that lighthouse. Look at it. <laughs> ripple through everywhere. Did these get angry as well? Did it ripple this far? No. <laughs> Made everyone really unhappy. They love that lighthouse. Um, what else there to there? So, this part of the town I think is done now. I think this is fine. I think, like I said, it might actually tidy up in the, in the commercial part. But that's easy enough to do. Um, I really like this part of this field. It's just like it looks, it's more realistic because I was gonna add like chairs and stuff in it, but you do get a place like this. Like if you go to like uh, London, not like I've been there, I've seen it on TV and stuff. You just get these walkways with trees along the sides and a big field. That's what most field areas look like. Parks. You know, you got people playing football, sitting down having picnics and stuff on it and that. Oh my God, look at all these pink people wearing pink. Huh. <laughs> I'll tell you what I was doing last night though when I was playing this. Um, I was just doing this. Mm. Oh man. This tram route is so cool. You see we stop here. Oh I should get that up. Hang on, let me go back out. So you see we've got four people at the minute travelling on this line. On this tram. So there's other trams coming down, there's a police car there. People want to get on? No. Oh, they just got they just missed their, their tram. <laughs> and they'll get on with us instead. No, they're not getting on. Let's fast forward it a bit. So this is the route the tram takes. So I did what I said I was going to do at the end of every junction. So you can see there should be a junction come up. But look at these people. Eleven people on now. You see there's a junction there to our right that like goes to the town. They actually all walk to the edge. Um same with this one up here. We have another junction up here somewhere. Basically here. Some people waiting, are they gonna get on? 17 people on. They usually all get off at the commercial because for some, for some reason that's where they all wanna go. 
Oh god, and he hit the car. 32 people on now. You see what I mean? These buses, it says we only get like 100 people a week. Yeah, there's, there's 32 in this bus alone. You know, so I don't understand how the, that works. I think it is a lot more than what it says it is. Oh god. These cars just keep cutting us up. Okay, now this is the commercial district. I think some people got off there. Oh no, this isn't the stop. That's the stop there. I don't understand these roads, man. I don't understand, like, how traffic lights work in this. It's got to be American traffic lights or something, because I don't understand how they work. Like, even if it's red, they still go. It makes no sense. I thought they could, like, turn right. If it's red, they can still turn right or something. It just makes no sense. I just, it, it is stupid. It's such a stupid plan of traffic lights. Yeah, so that, that's the route. You see, we picked up about 40, 50 people in that, just that one little trip. Then he goes all the way back and stops at the same places. So I did the same stop on the other side of the road. So you see, we stopped here on the way there. We'll stop on this side as well. Pick up these two people. Are you going to get on? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty... Oh, that wasn't the guy anyway. But yeah. I like that tram route. It's pretty good. It does let people travel from this side of town to the other. Because it actually isn't a way of unless they have to drive. So it does help. I think the buses are helping as well. We just need policies, man. We need city planning. We need these unlocked. High tech housing. We get this. Get all, get all these houses, high tech housing, and we'll be laughing. That looks so cool. Makes everyone happy. We can have industrial space. What's this? I don't know what that does. But yeah, the small business enthusiasts. That's going to be good for all this place. But we probably need to start looking at tourism, things like that now. Um, leisure, things, things like that. Maybe we should have it on this road here. Got these cars, man. See, this road is essentially irrelevant at the minute. No one's going to use this road. There's no need for it. Maybe I should delete it. It might make sense to actually. But we might have more stuff off the edge here. We'll leave it for now. Okay, so we still need some more. There's still some demand for uh, residential, even though we've got so goddamn much of it. It's like these are the only jobs in the whole town and the well, and the commercial. Oh, there is someone uneducated still working there, so there are some some uh, uneducated people in our town, which is something we're going to definitely need to have if we're going to keep this industrial area. But there's no traffic jams. There's a lot of cars. But there's no traffic jams. It's not it's not gridlocked anywhere yet. Um, I do have a plan for when it does get to that stage, because it will happen. But I'll save it. I did explain it before, but we'll save it. Okay. These houses look cool, don't they? 4x4 four four ones, they're really big. I just sit on the porch, look. Travis and... I can't click on these, mate. Let's just see what we see. Oh, look. I'm looking behind him. <laughs> what is he work? He's work at the coal power plant. Oh, wow, you give power to everyone. Cool. Okay, so I don't know what else to do. I don't know how to make this look good. I don't want to like, over expand it and make it look ugly, so I think I'm just going to build off this road here now. Should I start using these tree ones? I think we've got enough trees. I think, I don't think we will at the minute. We might upgrade later on. Okay, so I want to have a junction come off here because I think this is going to be very dead, this road. So having this one here shouldn't be a problem. So if we do something like this. Um, bit more. So you see now we're making, oh god it's really foggy again now. So you see we're making the gaps a lot bigger, like they were. Just as we fit in the bigger houses. Oh my god, I literally can't see anything. God, this fog is dumb. Oh, look, I can't see anything. It's not pollution, is it? It shouldn't be pollution. Look at it. The fog. Okay, so what I'm planning to do, I'm just going to try and make it look a little nicer over here. And if I do... 
I have a little small bit here, which I think will be fine. So yeah, this is my plan. So we're going to try and build it, not have it all like, squared off like this. We don't want it all like this. I shouldn't really done this to be honest, because you want it like different grids. So you want some houses coming down, some going along, some diagonal. You know, like we've like we've been doing. We don't want to keep it like this. I should really change some of this maybe. But yeah, let's uh, let's get some houses down over here as well then. Okay, so this is the layout I've gone for up this bit. It's not too bad, I think. I'll get over that. I can put some trees in between these places here, fill it out. Maybe get start thinking about putting some commercial over here, like I did with this bit. But yeah, I want to try and keep it so it's not so compact and ugly. But I think I'm going to have to change this because it's going to be it's, it's a bit too symmetrical. Uh, we might have to have it the house coming the opposite way as well. But anyway, I think. That's not a bad addition there. We, like I said, we'll fill out this whole area eventually. So we did here, like I promised we would. Got rid of the industrial, moved over there, like I said I would. So we will try and fill out this entire gap here with buildings and houses. It's going to be difficult. We might have some more intersections coming off the motorway. We don't want everything to be coming off this road here. It's going to get so packed. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what happens. So um, actually, what we could do, we could have just another. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, is that too many though? We could bring this road right up to here and have another intersection here. But I don't know if it's going to be too... Oh, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, this is um, Jollyville. It's very foggy. You can't see anything. Um, I don't think I'll do much off-camera next time. I don't think... I'll, there's not much else to really do. I think we'll just continue building this up. We need some more industrial, some work some work and stuff. We have nearly leveled up already. Look. We only need 7,000. Oh. We only need 7,500. We can get taxation policies... We can get the office building. So we're very close now to actually getting the offices, which is going to be so much easier. Oh, look, that looks so cool at night time. Look at the park all lit up. That looks so cool. So yeah, we'll leave you that bird's eye view there, Jollyville. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.